You ever been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a line dog face pony soldier. You said you were, but you're, you're, now you got to be honest. I'm going to be honest what? with you. <laughs> Lying dog That's face rough. pony soldier? That's right <laughs> up there with Charlie Sheen's droopy eyed, armless children. <laughs> If, if, if Biden is the Democrat who ends up going head to head with Trump, which right. is seeming increasingly likely, what do you think is going to what do you think will be his downfall or ultimately what are you looking to uh, enjoy? At this point, I just want to let the games begin. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say this. I don't know about you, Joe Biden. I, I, I don't think he would win, but I, I don't have the same kind of, uh, I guess, sort of uh, disdain for him like mm, I do for right. Nancy Pelosi or yeah. AOC or even Barack Obama. He's probably the least consequential Democrat I can think of. He's just there. I yeah, agree. He's around. I, we're starting to feel a little sorry for him, too. A little bit. I do feel sorry bit, for him. You know? uh, until you realize that, that Joe Biden, Vice President Joe Biden, this is what I want to talk about. He hates his own voters. This is what's <laughs> so funny. Yeah. We're going to go through Let's, some clips, the top uh, five does. clips that are, exa- these aren't examples of him chastising, of him berating people who oppose him. Right. These are people who support him. <laughs> <laughs> these are his people. So, Can you imagine if we had video of Trump supporters? Uh, he visited an automotive plant. He was talking to potential voters ahead of, uh, ahead of a primary, right? Yeah. Uh, and then he flipped out when mm-hmm. a worker asked him about guns. Uh, telling him that he was full of crap and threat. This is a guy who's there. Keep in mind, this is a guy there to see <laughs> Joe Biden, right. yeah. and he threatens to oh, slap man. him in the face. Here you go. Oh, Never, never mind that there are no <laughs> AR. Did you say AR forty seven? He said AR forty seven. Never mind that there are. I think it was AR twelve or AR thirteen. Is what Chank Weger said. That's yeah. an easy mistake to make if you know nothing about firearms, even though you seek to legislate you them. Don't know numbers. The, more, the, most, the most pivotal thing there is that he was threatening to slap one of his own voters in the face. Not <laughs> to slap you in the face. Uh, here's wow. another example. So to be clear, this is example number five. We'll go through five examples. Uh, this is one. This is an event. Um, someone asked Biden uh, about divorce. Now to be clear, this guy was kind of trolling. Joe mm-hmm. Biden. A little bit. But yeah. when Joe Biden says what you see here, he didn't know it at the time. Well, could we just get this out right now? We're live. No, we're, we're not. We're live. I'm beginning to see why your wife left you. Dude. What? What? Oh, like, he didn't know at the time that it was trolling. It'd be like someone would be like, oh, no, I get why your first wife is deceased. Wow. wow. <laughs> why would you? Thanks a that? lot. And by the way, something that, that does concern me, uh-huh. I, we, we've talked about how he had dementia. Now it's the cool thing to do. I was I was a Joe right. Biden dementia hipster. I was talking now about cool. before All the kids it was cool, it. where I said I'm genuinely concerned for him. Yeah. If you notice in these things, it's him not finishing phrases. At all. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, off. I'm not uh, uh, doing Oh, yeah. that's how he just finishes yeah. his phrase. Yeah, he's, uh, that's what's concerning to me. Not that he's saying things that are nonsensical, yeah. but that he also, if you look at sort of the, the way that he is moving his mouth, it seems like his mouth doesn't work. Like he's punch drunk. Yeah. 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 The, yeah, the nanobots his, can't control his mouth. Yeah. He's losing his train of thought and he's, he's just stumbling along trying to find the right words. Okay. Like um, me on this show most of the time. This, well, this, no, believe me, you are, you, well, it's okay, it's comparable. So, uh, here's an You came that close, Gerald. Almost. Here is another, and there are several of these examples. There are so many that we had to just pick. I, I think we have two on this list, but uh, here he is talking to one of his voters who has a question about oil pipelines. And by the way, this is also something you'll notice as a trend. His own supporters, if they ask him legitimate questions, he just dismisses them immediately, yeah. and right here he, he, he grabs the guys. To, just, just watch oh. the clip. We gotta stop building and replacing pipelines. He grabs his jacket. All right, thanks so much, sir. Guys, we're gonna have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm gonna vote you in the general if you treat me. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not. Well, can I have a vote? Well, I'm not. You're me. Come in and tell me you don't support me. No, no, no. My plan. Yeah, you did. You said you I said I will support you in the general. In the general. I'm looking right. for a primary. We're happy to get a member. That's what I'm looking for, okay? Just because we're trying to get. You believe that Bernie can do something by 2030? I'm actually supporting Tom Steyer. Oh. He got everything wrong <laughs> in that clip. Everything. No, wow. wait, wait. You just you said you didn't support me. No, no. I'm just asking you a legitimate question about oil pipelines. This is kind of the reason for a caucus for a primary is to find out their issues. Well, you were oh, you think Bernie's going to? I'm voting Tom Steyer. Well, there's that. I guess there is. There are other ones. <laughs>
<laughs> like it didn't even occur to him. He gets oh in his gosh. face. He grabs his jacket. I mean, J- Joe Biden. He's lucky someone doesn't kick his ass. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Here's something that I think is an important example to, when we're talking about Donald Trump and, uh, and and Joe Biden. People say Donald Trump is crazy. Or Donald Trump has typos in his tweets. Sure, that's because he's emotive right. when he right, tweets, yeah. right? Yeah. And he he tweets like he speaks. But when he speaks, Donald Trump is able to finish his thoughts. So oh, yeah. mm-hmm. the people who hate Donald Trump, they immediately hate what Donald Trump is about to say when he starts his sentence because they know how it's going to end. Right. The people who don't like Joe Biden have to sit and wrap the tension yeah. because they have no idea where this is going <laughs> at any given moment. <laughs> That's like the game they play. Adventure. Like Donald Trump is going to say, excuse me, listen, my wall. And people are like, okay, let's we get know. through this. You're going to say yeah. it's going to be the best wall always. Whereas Joe Biden be like, okay, listen, my wall. I uh, Humpty Dumpty didn't do the, you know the thing, and he's not, he, you're not going to find him there. <laughs> <laughs> not one piece, at least. But what if Joe Biden isn't capable? I mean, I mean, mentally, like he wouldn't be able to, uh, to what take if, care yeah, of what, what if his mental faculties deteriorate further after you've already voted? So, so there are what mechanisms. about before, right now? Like right now, is there a, is somebody going to come up and say, well, hey, wait a minute, like for, if this keeps for going. For Joe Biden's no. faculties to deteriorate yeah. further, he would have to be just a head in a jar that you go see in a tent. Uh, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what, what point are here? So by the way, hit the <laughs> notification bell if you're subscribed. Hit all notifications because apparently just the notification bell doesn't mean a whole lot. You yeah, turn yeah. them on on your app and on your phone. New videos go up uh, every day at 9 or 8 Eastern? 9. 9. 8? Eight, nine uh, Eastern. Nine? Nine Eastern. Nine I don't know. Eastern. Every day, Eight. if you're not subscribed, just check in and uh, please do consider joining our club. That's right. Pod- podcast. 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 Okay. Let's so Example much. number three. He goes through this again. We took a bit of a detour there. Uh, he goes a step further when he's asked about the high number of illegals in the country, illegal immigrants who were uh, deported under open. So here's someone who is actually, he doesn't even get to finish his question. From what I understand, the guy is actually further to the left <laughs> of Joe Biden. Here you go. Over those eight years, there were three million people that were deported and separated from their families. Yeah. We had this classification of families. You should vote for Trump. Families. You should vote for Trump. Vote for Trump. Be, no, no, no. I'm, no. I'm not going to do that. He's like I'm not going to do that. He's the equivalent to like the jealous that. wife who only like, go with your shepherd. You know you want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. See, I'm just saying. You had a lot of deportations. Go with Trump. Do you it. always wanted Trump. No, 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 no. I don't want Trump. I don't want Trump. <laughs> That's not what I want. I just want you to go. You just run into the arms of another. Okay. I don't think you're fit to be president. He's Trump. literally like, oh, you're going to vote for me? You might vote for me? I'll slap yeah, you in the face. He just doesn't like it if you bring up any criticism. Right. I, this could be the two thinnest skinned candidates yeah. ever. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised true. if a debate is just Donald Trump saying, you said bad stuff about me. No, no, you said bad things about me. No, excuse me, you said bad things. for No, you said I'm going to take you out by the woodshed. You don't have a woodshed. You couldn't afford a woodshed. <laughs> hey, I'll show you my, my pay stubs in the... Uh, as a vice pre, why'd you stop? <laughs> so, uh, example number, the second example, that's still my favorite one. Why am I yep. stopping? No one else is stopping. Because you're re- <laughs> um, I think we, it was a toss up between the number one example and number two. So these are mm. kind of interchangeable. Mm. Yeah. But this one is pretty bad. This lit the internet ablaze. He doesn't yeah. respond well to, uh, again, questions about his electability. Look at this insult that he throws back at this woman. So how do you explain the performance in Iowa, and why should the voters believe that you can win the national election? You ever been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. You said you were, but you're, you're, now you got to be honest. I'm going to be honest what? with you. <laughs> lying dog-faced That's pony soldier? That's right up there with Charlie Sheen's droopy-eyed, armless children. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Only he's running for president. Where is this like a saying anywhere? Like, can we, do we, no. this come from I mean, a movie I mean, she kind of looks like a dog a little bit. Is there? Well, this, this is like when those she's moments. Ugly, no, she's, she's not like ugly. Dog. But she like a, like a cute one. Yeah, right. Yeah, like yeah, a little yeah. pug or something. I don't understand. Yeah. Is she? I, what, what, I, I is this? Is this like a movie reference? He claims it was That's John Wayne, but Audio was saying like people yeah. were combing through the back it's, catalog. It was of never John said anywhere. It was never said anywhere. anywhere. Well, yeah. And by the way, this is somebody who was enough of a supporter to get like prime seating right behind the stage with him. <laughs> right I there. will tell you this. You know, yes. You know what this 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 tells me more. So obviously we're laughing. It kind of goes back to when Obama said, uh, all, uh, "People, now my mom always used to say, D- don't get all wee weed up." And people like, "What the fuck? Wee weed up?" <laughs> yeah. And he said, that was a term that we used to have uh, back in Hawaii. And people looked it up like, no, that's a term that was never, ever used. (laughs) Just like uh, Joe Biden, this is emblematic of the same problem where he, remember he talked about every morning I go down to Amy's Diner and I grab a cup of coffee and Amy's Diner had been closed for 26 years. Yeah. It's not just that he misspeaks, it's that they don't 
see any kind of accountability from the media. Mm, Barack yeah. Obama just thought, well, I'll just say we weed up is a term and that'll be the end of it. Yeah. And Joe Biden just thought, I'll say, what is it, lying, pony face, dog, dog, face, dog face, pony, pony lying. I'll just Soldier. say it was a John Wayne film and <laughs> no one will look it up because back in the day there exist. wasn't a show like this. Right. It's not a real thing. Twitter isn't going to happen. <laughs> he just, you know, there are people, people embellish, right? Yeah. This happens. People embellish stories. And right, I've done right, it on this right. show sometimes because we're obviously trying to entertain you where we take a story and you amplify it. Maybe it's yeah. an eight and you turn it up to a 10. Joe Biden creates stories about people he's never met with places that he's never been in restaurants and establishments that don't even exist. <laughs> He's very creative. Remember when he first became VP yeah. and he was like, I was going to meet, I met the Pope. And the Pope was like, no. no. Never. <laughs> never met you. <laughs> Pope's like, I definitely, you never sniffed me, buddy. <laughs> Uh, get his hand and he's going into depth like, and I, I clutched his red shoe and I said, hey, you don't mess with Joe. And why did, why, who stopped? <laughs> so here's uh, the, the prime example for if you were expecting something more substantial with it. No, yeah, this really. is just so remarkably funny to me. Yeah. And that's the thing is if he runs for president, I don't really know that's going oh, to be a man. substantial debate. Oh, yeah. No, he'll, the only vote he'll get is a sympathy vote at that point. Like, ah, uh, stop punching him. He's down. Yeah, I <laughs> that do kind think of thing. that so I, we, we got to be careful. I think if anything, Donald Trump needs to pull, pull his pull punches back a, a little, little bit yeah. because otherwise mm. it can just look it might like be too much. It could look yeah. like, you know, a clockwork orange with the hobo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's bad news. Oh, I make up. So uh, the prime Poor example, Joe. this one, it's tough to hear if you're listening on audio. <laughs> I love how that's audio wage line. Come on. Come on. That's enough, guys. <laughs> this one is so, it's, it's, it's tough. You, you'll miss it if you, if you just, if you skip a beat. But it's so childish. It's so petty uh, when he's been asked, uh, but he's asked by this guy about the potential baggage of his son ties, his son's oh ties with the Ukraine. Just watch. If you want to check my shape on, let's do push-ups together, man. Let's do whatever you want to do. He's always doing the push-ups. Now look at this. I'm not going to get an argument with you, man. Well, yeah, you do. This lady's got to sign all that. Look, Pat, look. Look. Oh my! <laughs> what? Okay. For those who missed it, it happened so quickly. He called him. He didn't say you're fat. He said, "Look, fat." Yeah. Like even was if he the guy's get name Pat? Right. Oh, no, the guy. I, 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 <laughs> That's my only. I mean, he should you know him a bone. He could use that excuse if yeah. he hadn't just challenged this That's fat true. man to push-ups. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and the man didn't actually. Ha he happens to be. So, fat, uh, you so know what? I, I thought his name was Pat. Really? Is this not you grabbing his rolls and shaking them later? But that was a lapse in judgment. I'll give you that. I love how he's, he's turned this into like American Ninja Warrior. Only through feats of strength will I win my way to the presidency. What? You want to ask me about my son in Ukraine? Watch me roll this frying pan. Look at that. Give me a phone book. I'll, bring me a hot water bottle. I can explode it using, I'll use, I'll use nothing but my lungs. Who stopped? I think <laughs> I love how he just calls him fat. He goes, oh, "Listen here, fat." He doesn't yeah, say look here, fat, fat. So, fat ass. You know, I don't know, fat, fat piece of shit, whatever it is that someone might say who's trying to insult someone and be a little bit, more, you know, Jeez. be a little bit more biting, make it sting. He just calls him. He calls him yeah. fat like a like it's a proper noun. Like, yeah. listen here, fat. <laughs> not like even it. Mr. Fat. <laughs> yeah. Not even Senior Nothing. Fat Sis. Nothing. I mean, there's so many options you could go to. Like, you can make it sting. And by the way, I thought maybe, because the guy wasn't really that fat. It was, it was not. He was a little overweight. Little, and I thought yeah. maybe that's Joe Biden showing because you know what? If you really want to make someone self-conscious, you don't pick the person who's obese and call them fat. They already know they're obese. You pick the guys, maybe put on a few pounds, and it'll, you'll live rent-free inside his head forever. <laughs> but I don't think Joe Biden has that kind of foresight. No, like no. That's the kind of thing Donald Trump would do. Yes, Donald yes. Trump is a master yeah, at yeah, that. And yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he does that during the debates. Where you yeah. know, Joe Biden gets up, maybe he has an unflattering suit, and Donald Trump gets up and goes like, hey, listen, all right, we're going to enjoy ourselves tonight just like you do at the buffet table, right? We see that, Joe. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Huh? You want to do? You want to do crunchies? <laughs> Captain Crunchies, or just like subtly reminds him where he is, like what city he's in, just to make sure everybody knows I we're in Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. That's for Joe. And you're That's at Joe. a debate. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who stopped? I, I, w I we need to find out where he's going, and I want to challenge yeah. Joe Biden to a push-up contest. That would he be always good. Oh, challenge everyone to push. It's either yeah. push-ups or fights, and I am quite certain that he has not done either of those things. Yeah. You got to do that under Drew. You know how they did like the under Drew bats, uh, undercover Drew. They would get the guy the the undercover God, Drew. Remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, it was yeah. it was under young boss. basketball pro basketball player who would then go out as out as Uncle Drew, and they would like put this professional makeup on him, and he'd go out there and like hobble Old around and makeup. be like, "Hey, let me just play," and they'd be like, uh, "All right." 
and you go like do beach ball and then they go out there and then you would just be like dunking on them. Yeah. You got to do that. That would, that be, would awesome. be amazing. Yeah, you so. should do you the old just, man and then you get look, up out of your wheelchair and out push up him or look, something. Look, look, look. We could easily make you look like Gerald and no one would <laughs> suspect <laughs> you could do a push up. <laughs> uh, you know I what though? That. Now now I'm psyching myself out because he seems so confident. Maybe he yeah. can really do a push up. Maybe no. he can. No, no, maybe he's just insane. Let's you know do, what? I'm going to go with crazy, trick. but I tell you what, I think it's going to be Joe Biden and I am really, let me know what you are looking forward to most with those debates. Uh, for me, it's that hopefully that Joe Biden at one point, I think, I don't want to say I'm looking forward to it, but I, I think what will be the climax of the debates is uh, Donald Trump will, will enter probably his stage right, stage left. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Let's assume it's stage right. Fireworks. And he'll come out and he'll do his thing, right? He'll probably insult somebody. Good for him. And then Joe Biden will come out and there's a, and then he, and then he poops. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed this video, Subscribe or hit the notification bell and hit all notifications because uh, not all notifications work now. If you just hit the normal notification bell, I think there's some videos playing in boxes. But of course, do consider uh, subscribing at ladderwithcutter.com slash mug club because there's a bunch of content that could never make it onto YouTube. And I think the, the box is playing. There's a video playing in a box with.